Hi, I'm Rich McCary. I'm the president of Arlington Plating Company, and I'm here today to talk to you about decorative plating on magnesium. Magnesium is an interesting metal. It's rather uncommon in the metal finishing area. It's perhaps the most difficult metal to plate on of aluminum, steel, zinc die cast. Magnesium needs a special pretreatment. Magnesium is getting more popular because it's very lightweight and with the thixo molding process, uh, geometries can be achieved during the manufacturing with very thin walls that makes magnesium a desirable metal for many applications. A magnesium is uh, two thirds the weight of aluminum. It's very light and has gained popularity in the last five years. So the process for plating on magnesium in the beginning is the same. We clean the part, we activate the surface, we apply a very special zincate to the part, and then we put a cyanide copper strike on the part to encapsulate the part. Uh, after the cyanide copper completely covers the part, uh, we immerse the part in electrolysis nickel. That electrolysis nickel coating provides a barrier uh, on the magnesium so that we can do any type of plating after that step that we want to. That's very important because magnesium is a reactive metal. Magnesium, uh, raw magnesium just sitting in water will start to dissolve. So if we don't cover up the magnesium before we go into any of the nickel plating or the copper plating or the chrome plating, the plating solution itself will start to dissolve the magnesium. Common plating methods on magnesium are electrolysis nickel, gold, anodizing would be a technique that's used on magnesium. Uh, the Dow process also describes uh, some chromate films that can be applied to magnesium. But what we specialize here at Arlington Plating is applying decorative finishes to magnesium. We currently apply bright nickel chrome, black nickel chrome, satin nickel chrome, even a miralloy finish can be applied to a properly prepared magnesium part. The process for plating on magnesium was developed in the 1950s by Dow Chemical. In fact, we've used this Dow Chemical book here as a reference for developing some of our strategies uh, for plating on magnesium. Uh, you can actually see some pictures of plating on magnesium uh, the way it looked like back in the 1950s. It looks a little different today, but there's a lot of, sim a lot of similarities. So here are some different applications for decorative plating on magnesium. Uh, we've been running these parts in production for about four years and uh, they've been running very well. Here is a, uh, a tail light housing. It's a beautiful part. Uh, this part actually is plated in a black chrome on the bottom half and a satin black chrome on the top half. This is a magnesium tail light housing goes on a motorcycle. One of, the, one of the big running applications that we've been plating for the past year and a half are these paddle shifters. You probably have seen our other YouTube videos uh, that show this part in the Cadillac ATS. So this is a paddle shifter for sport shifting. It's finished in a, uh, in a, in a dusk chrome finish, which means it has a satin nickel underlayer and a black chrome top coat. And you can see some of the intricate geometry on the back side of this part. And that geometry is necessary for attaching this paddle shifter to the steering wheel in the Cadillac. Our longest running application is a Thixa molded magnesium dip dipstick cap. This goes on a Harley Davidson motorcycle. It's an accessory. I think it also goes on the CBO bikes, uh, but it's a beautiful piece. Here's what the part looks like before we finish it. Magnesium is also used in telecommunications. This would be for a military uh, handset, uh, for a cell phone, for a field cell phone. And this part actually has a tin finish in the exterior. This would be a bright tin, and then this would be a dull tin finish. So that's a variety of different applications that we're finding for, um, for magnesium that require decorative finishing. Let's take a walk out to the line and we'll show you some plating. 
Here's a rack of magnesium parts before they're plated. You can see they're on a rack. There's 22 pieces here and Jaime's holding them for us to view. Here are the magnesium parts as they're entered into the zincate process. The zincate process takes about a minute and you could notice a blue color on the part after they've been thoroughly zincated. The next step in the sequence is cyanide copper plating. The rack of parts with, with the zincate film on them are immersed into the cyanide copper plating bath and the copper starts to deposit. You can notice a little bit of gassing around the edges of the part as the copper starts to envelope uh, the magnesium part. This is a critical part of magnesium plating because if we don't get full coverage with the cyanide copper, we will risk exposing the magnesium to other chemicals further down the line in processing. The final step of the process is our black chrome top coat. Here you see Jaime pulling the parts out of the black chrome tank. You'll see a little tinge of black on them and as he rinses them, you're going to see a beautiful shiny black creating that dust chrome finish. We can apply several different finishes here at Arlington, but Cadillac wants this dust chrome finish. Arlington Plating has a patent in our, in our process for plating on magnesium. We are experts for plating decorative coatings on magnesium. Come to us with your ideas for plating on magnesium and we're happy to work with you. You can also visit our website at www.arlingtonplating.com. Thank you.